Hello everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. You can download all sorts of cool free presets and samples and other cool stuff at freesounds.alexmerced.com. Freesounds.alexmerced.com. And make sure to check out my music over there at Spotify. Okay, you can also check it out at reverbnation.com slash alexmerced. Now today, what I want to do is do a quick tutorial on... Harmer, just like a really basic one that kind of hits up on a lot of areas. If you really want to go in depth with Harmer, I really recommend checking out Seamless's. I think it was like 16 videos on Harmer. I've watched, I think, pretty much all of them. Um, and it's really good if you really want to become good at this really super powerful, um, basically, plugin. But I'm going to go here, make sure we're in the default settings for Harmer. Now, this will explain in his videos. This is um, an additive synthesizer with subtractive elements. Now, what that means is that it's additive in the sense that what it, the way it makes sounds is that instead of by just making one sort of really complex wave, what it does it creates lots of little sine waves for every sort of frequency that you make. Okay, so you, so they kind of get an idea of that. There's a visualizer over here to the side. And see all those lines represent the little sine waves that were created to make our sound. Okay, and then basically by changing all these settings, you will change which sine waves at which frequencies get turned on. Okay, so basically sort of the most important part where you get your sound is here with this first timbre window. So what you can generally, generally everything in here, you can generally right click and then edit here in the envelope to edit how it behaves. So this whole prism, like this prism thing here, which just creates like a weird shape. So you'll see it as I if you take a look at the visualizer. It has that weird effect, you can actually right click it. Or actually you can just, another way you can do it is you can just go right here and look see for harmonic prism. And you can actually change the way it, the knob works. So everything in here, you can kind of alter the underlying behavior through all these envelope filters. They're all here. So you can play for days to make one sound with all the details you can do here. But the main thing is to play with the timbre first uh, because it's going to sort of give this, this sound. Now, of course, I like making bass sounds, so I'm going to pitch this down. about uh, Harmer is you can just drag stuff in it. So if I go to the packs and I go to the shapes and look at all the different shapes, I can just drag that into the timbre and then there's my If you trick around with this, you'll see what they do. Um, again, most of them, again, they just turn harmonics off and off. Blur is sort of like a weird delay. Tremolo just makes it wavy. Uh, you got pretty much every filter you can think of, and you can even design your own filters, shapes. And you can add the filters here. Phaser. Okay, and then we just put that back to zero. And another cool thing is you can just drag samples in here. So what you do is you click on this image thing, you can actually copy and paste pictures in there. So for example, let me go copy a picture. 
Okay, so now I got a picture copied. I'm going to paste it into the... Just clicking paste. There's the picture. And then now it's going to make sounds based on the picture. Now again, it depends what's going on in the picture. So if you scrub it like this, you can kind of see what the sounds are. also drag samples in here so let's see here let me go back to facts do some of these loops that come with FL studio here just go to legacy instruments <laughs> cool thing is you can have two parts so here's B where I can copy that same or a different one let's see here enjoy i will let you guys play around with it and figure it out but just to give you some ideas ciao bye this is alex merced from alexmerced.com